at that lovely view. Yeah, there's a lot of pine cones. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to another fun and exciting trucking vlog here. We are doing something uh, definitely unique as never done anything like this before. So we are currently at a Alcon uh, manufacturing slash distribution plant place, I believe, uh, currently in Duluth, Georgia, uh, picking up some contact lenses. Uh, this is a nice little tight, confusing place in the middle of what appeared to be a... Rich neighborhood. Yeah, well, I was going to put it slightly better, but yeah. I can call it like you see it, I mean. <laughs> Basically. So, uh, um, interesting little drive, uh, definitely. It wasn't the hardest place to get to. You did have to take a uh, non-truck uh, truck truck no trucks allowed road to get here but otherwise it was not bad oh tell them what we're delivering to yeah and this is delivering to uh what looks like i believe it's called vision works of wisconsin in burlington wisconsin so it's gonna be uh it's like a little strip mall is what it looks like on the map it's uh burlington is uh, just north of the Illinois border, um, a bit westward from 94, so, yeah. That's gonna be fun to get into. Mm, yeah, it, it did not look fun, so. But this place was not rather exciting to get into either, and I'll do a quick uh, walk around after uh, doing this intro here, but. But, on the bright side, you've been trained by Dollar General, too. So unlike some other, you know, KLLM workers that have not had to uh, experience strip malls and small little spaces, you actually can do it. So yeah, I'm, I'm not shook, so... It's still going to be a bitch, but... That, yeah, that's true. Um, so that'll be exciting. I uh, can use some of my experience there. Um, also, the other fun and exciting part is the fact that we were in the middle of our slumber during our 10-hour break, and I get a phone call saying, hey, I need you to roll to this load, and I look at my clock, and I'm like, I still got about an hour left before the 10 hours up, and uh, they are like, go, and I was like, great, so back to split breaks, and this is roughly an 850-mile trip-ish, and it's currently Monday delivering early Wednesday morning and uh, just now got into a door and it's currently almost 11 o'clock so it's gonna be a nice little push yeah. super excited thrilled oh and the fact of where the fuel stops are the first fuel stop is here in Georgia Long 75 Calhoun I believe Calhoun I think so okay. um, so not terrible but the next fuel stop is in Illinois on 70 west like not even on not even on uh, 70 and 55 or 57 or whatever it's like far away from it so I don't even know I'm already pissed off because the direct route to uh, would be from Atlanta to Nashville to Louisville to Chicago but no we're gonna have to do Atlanta to Nashville to Paducah and then up to central Illinois, and then from there, I don't even know, because I know we need to take a break at some juncture of time, and doing those back roads in Illinois is not going to provide a lot of parking options, so that's going to be fun. I can't... Just go park in a field. Oh, you know, might as well. But I guess let's take a quick peek at how this place was rather fun, and see how long this load's going to take. So interesting area the entrance from something something parkway down that way come down here now i made it all the way to this little parking section and i saw this entrance down here but i kind of uh was being a bit of a cautious calvin and ended up reversing from here and uh going to that entrance and pulling in through here which actually ended up working out because i could do a simple straight back 
from being parked over here instead of having to figure out how to U-turn and back into a door, so not terrible. It's a cozy little place, you know, kind of here in the forest. Um, Sam is able to forage for pine cones. Uh, you know, just taking advantage of the trucking life. <laughs> but, um, yeah, neat little area, I suppose. I'll admit I do like my pine trees, so I'll take it. But, backed into a door, good to go, so light is red. We can um, assume that we will exit here promptly. All loaded up and good to go. Only took about an hour, so off to the first fuel stop and see how this mess goes. Are you excited? No. Oh. You know why? Why? Because we're in Georgia. I mean... And any fuel stop is going to be a shit show. I mean, I don't blame you. Around Atlanta, at least. Yeah. So. Well, let's go. Mm -hmm. Successfully made it here to the uh, rest area. Um... Tennessee Kentucky border on 24 and it feels amazing yeah finally starting to actually get some good weather so that's nice mm -hmm. um yeah so we're gonna do a two-hour break here uh barely made it here actually um it was just uh, three minutes shy of my 11 so kind of close but I pushed it and yeah fun exciting so time for uh, a bit of a snack and a little nap, a little bit of a siesta going on here, so that would be nice. Um, then after that, I'm going to get back about four-ish hours on my 11. So hopefully that's enough to make it to the fuel stop in the... Um... I was laughing because I took off one boot and it made me extremely shorter. Okay. Somewhere, it's uh, 70 right by the Illinois-Indiana border, so I get to cut up through Kentucky, then uh, Evansville, then Country Roads. Not thrilled about it, but hopefully have enough time to get there and then take maybe the eight-hour portion of the break because after that, it'll be, uh, I'll get back six hours on my 11, and then uh, it should be enough time to make it to at least close to where we're supposed to go. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Me. That's such enthusiasm. Food and nap. Successfully made it here to the Road Ranger. Uh, did not stop the pilot to get fuel because I just wanted to go ahead and get parked. Uh, did not even bother trying the pilot because we all know that that was going to be full. Uh, a couple of spots in the back here, maybe about, I want to say, there's probably about between five and ten spots left, roughly, at whatever time it is, 11 o'clock at night. So, pretty good. Kind of lucky in that sense, but I'm going to go scope out the area, uh, get fuel in the morning, and then the plan is... We've got about, I want to say it's roughly five hours to the actual delivery destination, but obviously there is no parking availability in Burlington, Wisconsin, so we're going to stop on 94 somewhere after getting into Wisconsin, uh, take an extended break until Wednesday morning. Delivery, according to the tablet, is 8 a.m., but on the paperwork it says delivery window of 6 to 10 a.m. So we'll get up at maybe 6, get there just before 7, and see what in the world happens. Fun. <laughs> yeah. It is the next morning, and we have successfully fueled. Of course, stuck in line. Big surprise, as usual, but... I suppose it could be worse. Always picks the small, busy pilots instead of the... Well, it's out of route anyway, so... What's not to complain about, but... <sighs> Time for a fun, hopefully quick, 
five-ish hour drive to call it a day. Park next to a fancy pond. We are at the allegedly world's largest quick trip. It doesn't look super big except for maybe the fact that it has a large parking lot, but whatever I suppose. But we are here, We're gonna have a bit of an extended break, of course. Get up at, I guess, uh, six-ish. Get over there in about half an hour. Successfully made it here um, just a little bit before seven. Nice. Yeah, it's not like, uh, you know, even though we had an extended break, we clearly went to bed on time. Super. Like good kids. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> aside from that, uh, not too bad of a drive. A uh, little, little bit of a tight squeeze getting in, but honestly, not terrible. Uh, much easier than I expected to be honest so pretty good and then the fact that there was space to do basically you turned uh, straight back made it um, actually not bad overall so uh, got me into a door right away so I was gonna wait for them to unload they already are so I know this will be pretty quick so not terrible so that only took for maybe 15-20 uh, minutes <laughs> Fastest unload ever. Yeah, that's true. So, pretty good. And um, off to the next one. So, overall, not a terrible trip. It was um, relatively smooth. Got a little bit of an extended break there, so I guess that was nice. And um, yeah, would definitely do it again if, uh, if, well, I guess I wouldn't have a choice, but. I would at least enjoy doing it if I did again. Hopefully the next time the field rooting is not so terrible. But other than that, can't complain. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys on the next one.